Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Taylor's Kitchen. Today we have a very exciting episode, but first my guest. I went to Hinge, and I'm joined by Rachel. Rachel, how are you doing? I'm good. So as you see, we have flour, we have salt, and we have yeast. The three ingredients for bread. But we are going to be adding flaming hot cheetos. So we're going to measure our flour, our salt, our water, and our yeast, and put them in our bowl. How much cheeto are we doing? Do you think we just do the fourth? Or is that not enough? You think we maybe do a half? Let's measure out a fourth of it and see what it looks like. So I should start smashing this? Yeah, start smashing some cheeto. Good idea. Get out of my kitchen. So guys, you're gonna wanna just smash these. Um, it's so much fun to just smash them. You wanna smash a little bit? I can smash. Yeah, that looks cool. Uh, this is looking like, like two thirds. Sure. Now we're gonna pour it in with... Look at that. That looks cool. So two cups flour, two third cup, Flaming Hot Cheeto dust. So the next step is... Yeast. Yeast. Two teaspoons. Oh, look at this guy making noise. Look who finally decided to show up, guys. My cameraman's finally here. <laughs> we got it open. Hey, man. You're becoming a real tyrant on this show. All right, I'm just trying to make some hot sauce. Get this guy. It's tried, not hot he's, sauce, it's bread. He's trying to take it's over. It's not the spicy bread. He's trying yeah. to take over. I'm sick of this. And uh, salt. How much salt? Two of these. That's one, right? Throw her in. Easy. Salty bread. So like the professionals do, you take a big thing and you pour it in a bigger thing. So now it just looks like flour, but there's Cheeto in there. This is Pablo Escobar of the Bloody Nose. You see that nice white, the nice reds in there? The murky uh, Cheeto dust water. Yep, that's what you want. Yeah, so you wanna gonna, get the extra flavor. We're gonna throw it in there, right? Yep. All right, so we're pouring it in. We only do half. I'm gonna pour the other half in later. So now do I stir? Yeah. Stir it guys, really mix the Cheeto in with the flour and the... Looks yeast and the salt. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do we put in here? There's three ingredients. Also, I got a lot of hate comments last cooking episode about how I cut my shallot and how I cut my garlic. That was disturbing, yes. Um, <laughs> it was a joke. As you can see, I clearly know what I'm doing because I stir like this. That's what you're supposed to do, right? I don't know. You do it, and you fold, you pour in the other half. You guys want to do it slow because why? Uh, helps activate the gluten. Yeah, so if you just pour all the water at once, the gluten will never activate because uh, it drowns. Yeah, and you're just spoiling it. If you give a kid all his allowance in January, you think he's gonna do any work later on? You gotta, no. you gotta feed it, feed the gluten. This is getting tough. My forearms are getting tired. I'm getting a little woozy. Then you woozy. can start kneading. I'm getting a little woozy here. Um, I will come to Taylor's kitchen. I'm so lost in what step we're on. <laughs> do you know where we're at? We're at the end of number one, going oh, into number two. We covered it. It says two to three hours, but because we added flaming hot Cheetos, it's that much more extreme. It'll, you know, it, it'll only take 20 minutes. Okay guys, so we are back. We waited approximately 37 minutes. We're going to open our covered, what would you call this, paste? Dough, it's a dough. It's a paste. <laughs> uh, looks cool. The little chunks look cool. We're gonna flower our surface. Okay, this is like every inch of a uh, cooking show. Get your flour on there, then you get your flour out of here. Get it out of here. I, I snag this? Yeah. It's really sticky. Is it supposed to be this sticky? Yeah. Ew. <laughs> this feels gross. Right. I can feel the Cheeto chunks in there. Oh my god. Look at all the Cheeto <laughs> chunks. Can we make it shaped like a Cheeto? Is that oh, something? that's. Hey, that's why we have her here, guys. Uh, so it'd be like long, like this. Well, let's get a, let's get a test subject to see what it looks like. <laughs> Perfect Cheeto. Is that a perfect? Yes, it's got a, a little thing up top. And it's got a big area right here. This is hard size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ooh, it needs to be like way skinny. Oh, I got it. 
this looks like a chicken wing. <laughs> Will this like bake bottom. poorly? I don't know like what this? it's gonna do. Yeah, you wanna score it. Okay, do I just do that with my fingers? No, you need a knife. You want three slashes about half an inch deep, like diagonal ones. Okay. Okay, so now we throw it on here. Actually, we're gonna sprinkle a little chew. Do you wanna sprinkle the chew with us? Sure. Just get like a good pinch of it. Oh, how do I get it there? Come on, baby. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you wanna get that side? We'll you probably should have done it after you switched. Yeah. <laughs> this is looking crazy. All right, guys, so this is um, the main dough. It's looking like a, a liver or a stomach. <laughs> An internal organ. <laughs> it's pink and it's gross. Um, so now we have it preheated to uh, 475. So we're gonna put that in there. So the instructions say to put it in there for 20 to 25 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes. So that means we let it sit and breathe for as long as we are baking it, which is <laughs> perfect. Exactly what you want to do. Um, all right, guys. The moment's here. The moment's here. The very first ever, never before seen, Flaming Hot Cheetos bread. Voila, guys. It actually turned out looking like some bread. To both of our shocks. Here is obviously the model Cheeto uh, that we based it off of. Rachel, for joining me, helping me on this journey. Uh, you wanna get just the first cut in the... Let's do it. Let's see this bread. Wow. Oh, okay, it's Steven, we got some... Wow, it's pink... <laughs> uh, pink the, bread. What do you call the inside of the, the bread? The bread? The bread. <laughs> you can see the little Cheeto chunks in there. Oh my gosh. Uh, for comparison, guys. The inside of a real life hot Cheeto. There's your comparison, guys. Uh, as you can see, Cheeto chunks in the bread. Uh, we got Cheeto chunks on the outside. This looks like in like uh, elementary school when you would actually make green eggs and ham. <laughs> Did you ever do that in yeah. elementary school? And it just looked weird to see something a different color like this. Pink bread. I'm surprised how bright it is. It's super, yeah, so the hot sauce was like this too. It was like neon, like neon Very vibrant, pink. let's do it. The first ever bite of flaming Hot Cheetos bread. Tastes like bread. It only tastes like bread. Yeah. <laughs> it only tastes like bread. But not bad bread, there's a point. No. Like good bread. So I guess like, if you had a theme for like a party and you needed your bread to be pink. Mm -hmm. At the end, there's like a weird like chemical flavor. And I think that's the Cheeto. <laughs> it does because I'm You think? Give me a piece. Just bread, right? Yeah, just good though. Yeah, it just tastes like regular bread. We could have put like way more Cheeto, because I think we were kind of cautious, like, whoa, 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 is this even gonna come out of thing? But if we were to do it again. One and a half cups flour, one and a half cups Cheeto. Yeah, and then when we do the shaping and stuff, like all that sprinkle flame and hot Cheeto, just more Cheeto to kind of get through. But I mean, this is bread. It is definitely bread. Valentine's Day mm -hmm. would be perfect. This is Valentine's Day bread. I'm gonna call it that now. Look at that bread. It's pink. You see it? Okay, guys. Well, that was Taylor's Kitchen. Thank you, thank you. Huge thank you to my guest today, Rachel. A pioneer in your field now. Thanks for the experience. Is there anything you want to promote to the people at home after just owning, owning this dish? Make your own bread. Put whatever you want in it. Yeah, guys. It's fun. Bread nowadays, you know, there's the people that, you know, it has to have a certain break, it has to have a certain mm -hmm. smell. It doesn't have to sit for two, three hours. <laughs> it doesn't need all flour. Just Go crazy, guys. Like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. New videos every Thursday. So I'll see you next week. Peace. Perfect.